So thank you. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about use the, utilizing front-end scripts to integrate with service desks. But first, let me start off by introducing myself. So I'm Nathan Lifting. I'm an IT consultant uh, and Zabbix trainer. So basically what I do 40 hours a week is Zabbix most of the times uh, where I just build environments and stuff like that. Uh, before this, I was working in network engineering fell in love with uh, Zabbix as a product for network monitoring and then just started to do it full time. So today is all about setting up uh, manual ticket creation through the use of those Zabbix front end scripts. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna introduce you a little bit to uh, what this front end script is and uh, what the similarity is to the already existing media types. Uh, we're going to see how we can set this up with Jira, but uh, keep in mind, uh, I'll be doing it with Jira, but the application of what we're going to do today, you can apply to all of the service desks uh, around there, at least the ones that have an API available. If you want to do it through custom scripting or something like that, that's also possible. Uh, but what we're going to use today is Jira as an example with API and uh, in Zabbix webhooks. We're going to set up a front-end script and we're going to see the results. It's a very simple process, won't take you too much time, but it will definitely enhance your experience with Savix and enhance the capability of what Savix has to offer. So if you've already worked with media types, on the right side of the screen here, we can see uh, a Savix built-in media type for Yira Service Desk. Now, the type of this media type is a webhook media type. You can see we have the parameters already filled in by Savix because they've been adding a lot of built-in media types like this to integrate easily with uh, all of these different search desks or teams or stuff like that. We can use the parameters and we can use the script from this media type to fill out our front-end script because front-end scripts also have the capability to use webhooks. So you're gonna find on the left here that we have a parameters options and we have a script option in our front-end uh, script as well. So there's a similar implementation there which you can utilize to do what we're gonna do here. First things first though, you're gonna have to set up your uh, service desk or whatever you're integrating with. In case of Jira, uh, we are going to need a few things. First of all, we're gonna need to set up the Jira URL, a user, a password or an API token. And as you can see, we navigate to uh, id.atlassian.com slash manage API tokens. We can set up an API token and start integrating with Jira. We're gonna need a project key and a issue type. Both of them numeric values we can get from Jira itself and fill out. If you wanna know more about how to set this up with Jira or how to set this up with anything, there's gonna be a blog post about this. Actually, it was already posted to blog.zavix.com. Uh, and you can check out zavix.com their own uh, documentation at zavix.com slash integrations where all of these built-in media types are already explained. So we set up our integration, we set up our Jira service desk. And then what we're gonna do is we need to fill out the front-end script. Now, as I said, Savix already has this media type available. So what we can do is we can open up the media type and we can open up the front-end script. On the left, you can see the media type and on the right, you can see the front-end script. And we can copy over all of those parameters with the defaults as they are already set up by Zabbix for you. We copy them over, we set up those parameters and we can start uh, filling them out. So of course, these media type parameters uh, are filled in with stuff like place your password here, place the request type ID, everything that we need to get from Jira as we've seen in the last step we need to start filling out here. But before we do that, we also have to copy over the script. On the left, you can see the media type again. 
And on the right, you can see the front end script. If you click the script box, you can copy over the entire script to the front end script, paste it there, and save that. Then we're going to fill up our parameters. So, for example, our uh, Jira request type ID, which in my case was 118. We're going to set up our Jira service desk ID, the project ID that we have in Jira. Set up the Jira, Jira URL, which is going to be something like company.atlassian.net. So your company name at the atlassian.net uh, address. Set up your Jira user. And what we're also going to do is we're going to set up the event source to zero, which means this is a problem event source. We're going to create tickets from this integration. So we're going to set up tickets manually for, from the front end in Zabbix. And that will always be a problem. So we can manually set that event source. I also had to change the alert message, the alert subject, and uh, yeah, put something in that. Normally, what a media type does is it can read that automatically from built-in macros. But uh, in this case, that won't work. So what we'll do is the alert message and the alert subject we can set up manually. For the alert message, we can set something up like there is a problem on a host, the event name with a certain severity since a certain date. Pick your own macros uh, that you would like to use here, set up that message, and you can use that to fill out the tickets. And the same thing for the subject. We can keep that a bit shorter, of course, to make sure that it's easily uh, understandable once, once we navigate to Jira and we see that ticket. So we fill that out in our front-end script. And once we do that, we can start to utilize this front-end script. Now, normally when you have a media type, you can set up actions and everything will be done automatically for you. Not in this case. When we use a front-end script, we can use that to manually create that ticket. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a page like uh, monitoring problems, or we're going to navigate to our dashboard where our problems are, and we can click on the problem name. You click on the problem name and you can see the front end script is right there in that drop down menu. You can then use that drop down menu to create a Jira ticket, and a Jira ticket will be created, as we can see right here in the results. We can see our severities are translated severity high. Our problem name is right there. Uh, our host is right there. And we can see it's completely filled out for us. Now, why would this be useful when you already have a media type set up? Well, a media type is going to do it automatically for you. Let's say you have a bunch of filters set up to only create a ticket if it's a high or a disaster severity. Uh, right now, you have the capability to do this for any type of problem that you want manually, because maybe you upgrade the severity and you still want to create a ticket, or maybe it's just something small that you would like to uh, immediately create a ticket from the Zabbix uh, front-end towards Jira from, it doesn't matter. You now have that capability to, to do it dynamically right there in your Zabbix front-end. So to wrap things up, this is actually quite a simple implementation. You can just copy over Zabbix default media type values if the integration is already available for you. Stuff like Jira, it's already available right there in Zabbix by default. Copy over those values. If the integration isn't available, of course, this is a, a setup that we've done with the Zabbix webhook, in, webhook implementation. We can use this with any API and we could even use custom scripts. So if there's no integration available, you can set it up yourself. Make sure that you fill out what your message should state. We can use that message, fill it out right there in the front end script. And of course, make sure, uh, sure to change the parameters that are set up in the front end script. Now you can click the problem name anywhere that you can see it in the Zabbix front end and directly create that ticket. 
and then all you have to do is enjoy. You can start using it. You can start uh, doing everything that you would like to do in your Surface Desk. So as I said, a complete text guide to this has been made available on the blog. So if you would like to do this, uh, you can simply go to this link, the blog.sabux.com and follow the guide to set this up in your own environment. If you want to see more content like this, uh, we also have uh, a bunch of other blog posts online. And of course, uh, we're not the only ones writing blog posts uh, on Zebix, uh, on the Zebix blog. So there's a bunch of great authors out there making content for it. So check out the Zebix blog. Uh, of course, you can also follow us on LinkedIn. We always have a bunch of uh, cool updates about Zebix. And we also have a Zebix 5 book. And as you might have already known, we're actually gonna do a little giveaway in a bit about the uh, for the Zabbix book. We're gonna give away three copies of it right here to anyone attending, of course. But first, I would like to open up the floor for some questions about the actual Surface Desk integration. If anybody has any questions. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you a lot. So um, a couple of things. So first off, have you tried this only with Jira or, or maybe there are some other integrations where you have tried this with and can confirm that there are no kind of you know, un underlying surprises, maybe something that should people, people should pay attention to in case of other integrations specifically, or has it only been Jira so far? No, no, we have tried it with some, uh, some other service desks as well. Uh, basically, this works with any of the uh, media types that you already have readily available. You could create a manual front-end script like this with basically anything. You're only limited by your own imagination uh, right here. Mm -hmm. uh, which version did you say this uh, works with? Uh, people are asking, does this work only with 5.4 or maybe older versions also support this? Uh, well, 5.0 doesn't have the, uh, the webhook in the, the script. So uh, uh, top of my head, 5.2 and higher. I think it was, I, I tested it today. I think it was 5.4 and, and 5. higher. 5.4 then, yeah. yeah. So 5.4. Mm -hmm. um, would there be some sort of a difference if you have a, a, a multiple front ends with a load balancer in front of them? Would that change things around a bit? Um, so you have, a, you have a Zabbix front end and you have a load balancer in front of it? Uh, that wouldn't change a lot as the request would still be sent out uh, towards uh, yeah, towards your integration. So in our case, that would be the public uh, Atlassian.net uh, cloud instance for us. But as long as that request is sent out, it's sending that information towards uh, where it needs to be. It shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, thank you. And, and that's that for the questions. Thank you a lot. Um, yes, and for the surprise part, uh, Nathan, I'll, I'll pass the floor to you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, the three winners of the Zebex book are oh, Randy, Rolf, and Lars. So, uh, yeah, thank you for being here in the Zebex meetup. We will be sending a copy of our Zebex 5 book your way. And that's all from my side. Thank you very much, everybody, for your attention. Yes, thank you a lot, Nathan. Uh, really glad to have you here and thank you for the giveaway. Um, you can learn a bunch of things about visualization and much, much more from this book. So definitely use the opportunity um, and you can probably also get in touch with Nathan directly, um, either via contacting him directly or maybe leaving a comment in his blog post. Like I said, the blog post is already up about this. So if you have some questions that we you know, haven't covered here, uh, feel free to just comment on the blog post either me, some of my colleagues, or Nadim himself is going to answer those. Um, so that's that for the meetup. Thank you a lot, guys, for attending. It was a real pleasure. Thank you for the questions and the comments. Um, don't forget that we have our summit up and coming on October 21. This is where we'll be covering many features for, uh, for Zabbix 6.0 which is soon to be released and many other use cases from our own experience, from the experience of our partners, community members, and so on. So stay tuned. The summit is online. Once again, same as the last year, completely free. Everyone can attend. And that's the biggest event of the year. 
So definitely keep an eye out on it. It'll be a blast. 6.0 is just around the corner. And that's what we are going to be focusing on. So thank you a lot, everyone. It was a real pleasure. And I hope I'll be able to see you guys at the summit, October 21st. Thank you, guys. Have a great day and have fun with visualizing your data. Bye, everyone.